Before watching this video, please make sure that you've watched the first part of it, which is making custom screens in Valorant, where we take the Valorant 3D models to Blender and then to other software, so we can edit and make custom screens. And in this video, we are going to make an animation so it looks like we are in the For this we need Blender with the game shaders and then the first person model and also the weapons. In order to extract the 3D models we can do what we did in the other video, which is Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 4.23. But if we don't want to navigate in the menus every time we want to export anything, we can create a file that I will leave a link in the description for you to download or if you don't want to I will leave the text that is in it so you can basically copy and paste from it once you've copied and pasted everything inside it you have to rename it dot bat so you can double click it. The method to export the weapons is explained on the other video. If we want to export the first person models we need to open the UI viewer then go to characters and choose our character in my case it's going to be Jet which uh, its name in the files is Wushu and then we're going to first person, then models, and then the skeleton mesh. This is the file that we're going to export. Or we can export the whole folder. Everything that we export is inside the UModel export folder. Now we have to open Blender, delete everything that is in our scene, and we are going to start importing the weapon model. We have to import the first person skeleton mesh of the weapon. In my case, it's going to be the bundle. Uh, as you can see, it has no magazine. So now we are going to start with it. To import the magazine, we have to go to import and then GLTF. And in the same folder where we have the, the weapon, we have the magazine. Now, in order for them to be attached, we have to go to the magazine, then make it a child of the weapon and set the bone to magazine name. Now we have uh, the two models put together. Now for the red dot side, we need to go to the path that I am showing you here, which is attachments and then the red dot. We're going to do the same thing we did with the magazine, which is make it a child of the weapon and then select the bone that it's attached to reflex. We have to import the first person model, which is the PSK file that we have import of Jet. We are going to share it Before doing anything we have to import the game shaders that I will leave a link in the description So then we go to append 
then to the file that you have downloaded and then just follow my steps so I'm just creating here a collection just to have the jet in one place and the weapon in other So the first thing that we need to do is to add notes for the first person model and then we have to look for Valorant character shader Now in here what we're going to do is just drag and drop the textures that we have imported from U model and we have to join them as I have shown you here. It's very important that these two textures are linear instead of RGB. Now we are going to give the textures to the weapon so we have to do the same, we have to add the notes then just look for balance and select the weapon and then do exactly the same, drag and drop the textures and join them To give textures to the magazine, we have to select everything that we've done in the weapon and then select the magazine and paste it because it's using the same textures as the weapon. Then the last thing we have to do is just give textures to the red dot site and we have to do exactly the same that we've done with the weapon, the character and the magazine. But the interesting part of everything is just to put our custom skins into it. So the only thing we have to do is just instead of put the original textures, add the custom one that we have done. And I'm doing here with this uh, custom bundle which simply recreates an AK-47.
We are going to set up the camera and the weapon. So the first thing that we're going to do is set the weapon as a child of the jet model and then set the bone to weapon master. After that we have to create a new camera. Then set its rotation to zero. And now make it a child of the jet model and set the bone to camera. Then put the this rotation values. And now in the camera options we are going to put what I'm showing you here, which are the settings that are most similar to the camera in the game. So let's start with the animations. Uh, the first step is go to import and then PSA, which is the file for animation. Then we have to go to our weapon, in my case is the Vandal. And then just uh, go to first person animations. And then you have the ones that starts with FP are for the first person model. And then those who start with GN are for the gun. So we are going to select one of them and then as we can see this is the animation but the model it's not responding. We can separate the layout and just uh, have half of, the, half of the screen for the camera. So the first thing that we notice is that the weapon doesn't have the correct rotation. So we are going to fix it. Once we have it, uh, now is in the correct position, but the weapon itself doesn't have any animation. The next thing we have to do is just give the animation to the weapon instead of to the arms. To do that we have to select the weapon, then go to File, Import, PSA. and then select the animation that starts with GM. Now it's all done, as we can see. So if we want to have one animation and then another, what we can do is simply copy all the keyframes, uh, then import our new animation and paste the old keyframes next to it.
The last thing we need to do in Blender is uh, making a render. But if, for example, we render an image, we see that there is no light. We have to add a sun or a point light, whatever you want, to make to give light to our scene. So once we have our scene with the proper light, we are going to go with the render settings. In here you can choose any resolution you want and also you can change the frame rate. In my case I'm going to render at 60 fps. Here you can choose the location where the render is going to be safe. We are going to choose a file format which is FFMPEG. Then we are going to select QuickTime. And then in the video codec uh, we are going to choose QT animation. You can choose anything you want in here and then choose RGBA which contains the alpha channel, which is the opacity. So then go to this menu, then go to film and then go to transparent. So then in our video software, we can just disable the background. Now with, with Photoshop you have to take a screenshot of the games and make an empty background and also separate the HUD. In order to edit everything we need uh, a recording of the game, then the empty background that we have selected, then our animation in Blender without the background, and then the HUD that we have done with Photoshop or whatever program. Then, in layers, combine all together, so we have the final cut.